Sir, can this be an official endorsement of the candidacy of uh, Fitamba by well-known Ikoha group or camp within PDP food? Can you share with us key things we are expecting from the candidates? Well, they don't be able to 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 What's the significance of today in, within PDP family? Well, it's just uh, the restoration of unity. Um, something new has happened. And now the greater of the people have come together to say yes. To say we want to support the government of uh, Uguay and his candidate, Peter Amba, as the flag bearer of PDP in Enugu State. Uh, what we as the greater people have done today is to say that no matter what happens, that uh, we are going to uh, vote massively for PDP. We are not going to let any story or gimmicks drive us into considering any other political party. This is our investment. We have invested a lot in PDP. And uh, this is not time to abandon our investment. This is time to take our investment to another level. And that's why we're talking about tomorrow being here today. So it's a good one, and uh, we believe that going forward is good also for Greater Ogo. And that will stamp our authority in PDP. That will also strengthen our stand in PDP, so that when it comes to our turn, uh, nobody will come and uh, tell us stories about it. So we're happy and we have declared full support for uh, Peter Mba and we are doing that in unity and uh, we're happy for that. And Peter, we we believe you're also going back to NMC House of Assembly yes. for the second time. Yes. Sir. Your message to your people. Well, the message is we have an investment in PDP. Continuity is the answer. Continuity means that somebody has already gained the experience. Somebody has already uh, had some hint of what is going on at the House of Assembly and is ready to take it from there forward. And that means development for our people. That means more democracy dividend for our people. That means that, you know, whatever, whichever government that comes in will have say in that government and will be able to attract as much as we can and in terms of amenity infrastructure to not just Greater Ogu, but specifically to Jiriba uh, State Constituency, where I represent. Thank you, sir. I'm on a position that my friend called me a question. We believe uh, as secretary, sure, the secretary of PDP in Enugu State, you are instrumental to this gathering. And uh, what does it mean for you and PDP family, especially in Greater Ogu and Enugu West in general? Uh, we have just gathered here this evening to make a statement. And I was expecting it was very simple. We have gathered to reassure our people where we stand. You know, in politics, most times there is always suspicion. But today it's been crystal clear that Greater Ogu is PDP and PDP is Greater Ogu. Thank you, sir. How many times? Just one step. Yes. My name is uh, Dr. Deo Helen Godwin Ketchum, former Commissioner for Information and Enterprise. 
and by the grace of God, the stakeholder in the West today. I want to ask you one question. What do you think the people of Obu expect from leadership of Peter Mba, assuming he becomes the next governor? We are not assuming. Peter Mba will be the next governor of Obu, by the grace of God. We have spoken with one voice. And what we are expecting from him is a equitable share of what belongs to greater Obu. We are not, we are not, we are not greedy. We are expecting a, a continuation of the good work done by Senator Ike Koromada and Robutubi Vitubi in terms of food infrastructure, in terms of building of schools, in terms of scholarship, in terms of employment. So we want him to continue from where those two gentlemen stopped. With that, we are comfortable. Thank you, sir. That was massive. My name is uh, Honorable Prince Chi de Ewe. I'm from an Iru local government area in Afenugu State, the former Federal Commission and Public Complaint Commission in Afenugu State, and one time Council Chairman of Afenugu. What are the people of Great of saying? And how does this represent the interests and aspirations of Senator Ike Kuramari? For obvious reasons, you can see that for yourself today. People of Great of gathered here in one voice to welcome the incoming governor of Afenugu uh, State. Come uh, 2023. And uh, having gone through our incoming governor's antecedents and uh, the, the manifesto has released so far, it has got to do with already what EK Bramada had in mind when he issued uh, his manifesto when he wanted to contest. So I can say that uh, both of them have the same vision for Enugu State, both of them have the same passion. To create uh, job, uh, have a uh, job creation, improve on agricultural sector, attract industries, and uh, human capital development. So both of them have the same passion to fight poverty. Both of them have the passion to tackle insecurity in the state, and of course, the teaming youth who are unemployed. So you can see, if you view the two manifestos before now, you can see that they are the same thing. So we really believe that Peter Mba has come to uh, drive the ship and he can do well. Uh, he has the, 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 the mandate of Fikir Kuramada, he has the support of Fikir Kuramada and uh, the greater of the people have gathered here to speak with one voice. So I don't have any doubt in my mind that he will make it. With us all, all of us being on board, the sky will be his limit.